<clears throat> Good morning, tweenerheads. Hope everyone's having a great day today. What is going on? COVID is still in a huge effect for everyone in the tennis world because I'm making this video because Sam Query fled Russia. Fled Russia. Not just left. Fled with his family. After his whole family tested positive. So... From what I have read and what I have been finding out is that Sam Query tested positive for COVID. His wife tested positive as well, as well as their eight month year old child, eight months old. And they're still, and he's traveling with them during a pandemic. That's a different story. Um, he tests positive. They tell him the tournament tells him to wait in this hotel, a very nice hotel, I should say for 14 days to self isolate, to make sure that if they test and they get another test back, and if it's negative, they're okay, they just have to self-isolate. But if they do, if it's confirmed, they have to go into the, a Russian hospital. They have to be hospitalized. That's scary. I will say for those who haven't gotten sick overseas, it's scary to go to a country, fall ill, and then go into their hospital system, whatever it is, because you're not aware of it. You don't know what goes on in there. You don't, you're not familiar with it. The fact that Sam Query then hired a private jet to take them to a neighboring country that doesn't require a negative test to enter and is now staying in an unmarked location and is staying in an Airbnb that's some like James Bond shit. Like flees the country with this whole family, just disappears. But there is something to be said about that because Tumani Carroll tweeted out that he could get a hundred thousand dollar fine for violating the health and safety protocol, as well as being suspended from tour. Well, that changes some things, right? <laughs> Look, it's there's two ways of looking at this. One, from the health and safety from everyone else. It was very reckless of him to hire a jet, put pilots in danger of getting COVID, to go to a country, bringing the virus with him, as well as their child and what as long as his child and wife with him and go to a different country while still being positive. On the other hand, I can see how he could be scared and not feeling comfortable with going into the hospital system in a foreign country in Russia. And he's trying to do the best for his family of just getting them out of there. But from that logic, in my mind, and maybe some others can attest to this, what's the... like? you're going from one foreign country to another foreign country. And then if you still test positive in the other foreign country, wouldn't you still have to be hospitalized? Wouldn't that work like that? What's I'm trying to figure that out, but it, it, he can be in a lot of trouble, not from a professional standpoint, being suspended from tour, being fined a hundred thousand dollars. There's a lot to soak in there. So for Sam query, Maybe he did the right thing for his family, but I think family comes before your job, right? It it It's selfish. Don't get me wrong, it is selfish. Because for the greater good, you're putting others at risk, but he did it for his family. It, I don't know if I can have a real... Like, I can't go at him for this because he did it for his safety, his family's safety. Look, and I also think if you're traveling with that young of a child to a foreign country during a global pandemic, there, look, you have, to, you can't do that. I, I don't care. They, you can't travel with your family like that, especially with an eight month old at that young of an age during a global pandemic. You're putting them at risk at most really because their body hasn't even developed their own proper defense mechanism for all these 
uh, antibodies, this virus, everything. So, and not to mention that Sardinia tournament has had 20 people test positive. Around 20 people have tested positive and one of them being Fabio Fonini. Like, COVID is still, like, at the forefront of everyone's issues right now. And the fact that it still seems to get into people's minds that it's like, okay, we can still travel. Okay, this is fine. It's just a bad flu. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But to wrap up this video, if Sam Query is watching this, just please be safe. Like, you have to realize that, yes, it was a very sneaky move to do, but you can't adhere to the safety protocols. Please. Adhere to the protocols. Make sure. What the fuck? Make sure you're following protocol. Make sure you're putting, making sure other people are not at risk. If you test positive, even if it's a false positive, you have to be safe. Yeah, you're doing it for your family, but you can't argue that. You can't argue that. Oh, it's a tough situation, but I wanted to keep you guys updated of what's going on. So I hope everyone's staying safe. Please wear a mask. Please stay six feet apart. Please be safe. Wash your hands. Hope everyone's doing well. Stay safe, guys.